In this session, we will implement vertex animation, which is the swimming motion of a fish using only materials. First, drag and drop the provided sm underscore fish static mesh into the scene. Then right click in the content browser to create a material. Enter the material and first apply the basic fish texture. Create a texture sample parameter 2D node and set it to the provided fish texture. Next, create a texture coordinate node and connect it to the UV. Then connect it to the base color. Press the S key and click on the graph to generate parameter nodes. Make two of these. Rename one to specular and the other to roughness and set their values to 0.8 and 0.3 respectively and then connect them. This will apply the basic texture to the fish. Now we'll focus on vertex animation with a material. Create an absolute world position node and then make and connect a transform position node. In transform position, change the source to absolute world space and the destination to local space. This step converts the position vector in world space, which is based on the world coordinate system, to the position vector in local space. If you skip this, the movement of the fish will change every time it rotates or moves, as it would be calculated based on the world. Next, create a component mask node and click convert to parameter. Name it as you wish, but since we want the fish's head to point in the Y direction, Select the G channel that signifies Y. Press D and click on the graph to make a divide node, then press S and click to make a variable. Name it wave and set it to 100. Connect the mask node to the A of the divide node and the wave node to B. Press M and click on the graph to create a multiply node, then create a time node and connect it to A. To adjust the speed of time, Make a new variable node named wave speed and set its value to 1, then connect it to B of the multiply node. Press A and click on the graph to create an add node and connect the multiply node and divide node. Then create a sign node and connect the add node. Preview the sign A node, you'll see moving stripes. If you reduce the wave value, the stripe intervals become narrower, and vice versa. For a preview in cube shape, if you select masks other than G in the mask, you'll see stripes formed in each positive direction of the axes. Since the head of a fish doesn't move when it swims, we'll mask it to stay still. Create a sphere mask node and connect the previously made transform position node to A. Press 4 and click on the graph to make a constant 4 vector. Convert it to a parameter and name it mask location with values 0, minus 80, 0, 1. Make two parameter nodes as before and name them radius and hardness. Radius determines the size of the circle and hardness determines its contrast. Set their values to 150 and 0, respectively. A hardness of 0 ensures smooth edges, producing a more natural motion. Preview the sphere mask to see a circle aggregated in the negative direction of the y-axis. Create a multiply node, connect the sphere mask and sign node, and preview. You'll see the sign value applied only where the mask is. To move the fish's vertices in their normal direction, create a vertex normal WS node, connect it to an abs node, and then to a previously made multiply node. Using abs allows for a motion that looks like the body is moving in a certain direction. Before connecting to the world position offset, Create a parameter node to determine how much it should enlarge, set it to 100, and make a multiply node. Connect the previous multiply node and this parameter node, and then connect to the world position offset. After clicking Apply, right-click the just-made material and create a material instance. Then drag and drop it onto the object in the scene. 
Enter the material instance and set wave to 300, the G of mask location to minus 120, and WPO to 20 for a more natural look. Now, you'll see the fish appears to be swimming. No matter how you move or rotate the fish, you'll see it moving in the same direction.